In a previous episode, we built some logic gates out of vacuum tubes, and notably the 6AU6 Pintoed and the 6DJ8 Dual Triode. And we built OR, NOR, NAND, and AND. And using these four logic gates, we can build some pretty cool stuff. And so that's what I want to do today. I want to build something. And whenever I'm getting into building something complicated, one of the first things that I try to build is one of the most important parts of any computer, and that's the ability to do math. And that is building an adder. And so what I want to try and build today is a half adder out of vacuum tubes. So let's hop over to the bench and get started. So this is the circuit that we ended up building last time, and it is an OR circuit with a pentode inverter to make a NOR circuit. Uh, and we also ended up building this one, which is a NAND circuit with another inverter set up to make it an AND. Uh, and of these four, obviously OR and NOR are the uh, least complicated to build. And so we'll try to see if we can focus on just building this out of NOR gates, which we should be able to because NOR is a universal logic gate. And we can make any other logic gate out of just NOR gates, which is fantastic because it's a fairly simple uh, circuit to build. So uh, let's, let's keep this in mind while we get started on building our half adder. So first things first, what is a half adder? Well, it's a device that takes two one-bit inputs, adds them together, and then gives us a binary output of the answer of that addition. So uh, if our two inputs are A and B, and they can be 0 or 1, so 0 plus 0 is... Well, it's equal to zero. That, that one's pretty easy. Zero plus one or one plus zero is equal to one. Now our output shows the sum here as being one and the carry as being zero. Now this is written kind of backwards, uh, but the sum is going to be our one's place and the carry is going to be our two's place. So uh, one plus zero is equal to one here. So um, you know, zero plus one or one plus zero is equal to just one. Uh, however, if both of our inputs are one, one plus one is equal to two. Now in binary, that's going to be one, zero. So our carry is in the two's place, so the answer is two. And that's a half adder. And it's relatively easy to build. You have a single exclusive OR gate and a single AND gate. And you just hook them up like this and then you have a half adder. And that's, that's awesome. Except for the fact that when we built our logic gates last time, we, we didn't build an exclusive OR gate, and the AND gate was quite involved. Uh, but, as I said before, every single gate can be recreated with NOR gates, because NOR is a universal logic gate. So, let's see what this looks like if we recreate it with just NOR gates. And, well, that's a nightmare. Oh, good lord. Okay. Well, we went from a total of two gates to uh, two, four, six, eight NOR gates. Uh, this is a nightmare, and that's going to take up a huge amount of space. So uh, there's, there's got to be a better way of doing this with just NOR gates. And, uh, well, our, our friend Google has the answer. So a quick Google search later of just NOR only half adder gave us this. All right, well, this is a much more elegant design. You can see that we went from uh, eight NOR gates down to just five NOR gates. So we eliminated three NOR gates immediately. And uh, it's laid out much, much better. And this, we could actually just build this. This is relatively easy to build. Five NOR gates is pretty simple. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing something that I recognize in here. So if we, if we look at the top here, we've got an exclusive OR gate and an AND gate. And if we look at our, our massive collection of gates here, we can see that these five NOR gates are the exclusive OR gate. And then these three gates here are the AND gate. And these three gates are the exact same as these three gates here. And so I think since we were actually able to build a functional AND gate before, we could just replace these three NOR gates with a single AND gate. And uh, well, let's, let's see what that looks like. Look, look at that, that's just three logic gates. So just using NOR and AND, which are gates that we've built before, we're able to get almost as simplified as this here. That's awesome. Uh, 
except that our AND gate isn't simply an AND gate. It's actually a NAND gate with an inverter. So to make this a little more representative of how we're going to build this with vacuum tubes, let's go ahead and redraw this AND gate as a NAND gate with an inverter. Now look at that. That's a really elegant solution to building this with the tools that we have, which is NOR or NAND and AND. Now we could build this out of just two dual triodes. One dual triode could be the two NOR gates and the other dual triode could be our NAND and our inverter to make an AND gate. Uh, but instead I think I'm going to build it with four 6AU6 pentodes so that uh, each pinto represents one logic gate. That'll make it a little easier for me to wrap my brain around and it should make it a little easier to see what's going on on the breadboard. Um, so let's let's go ahead and pull that breadboard out and get started. Let's build a, let's build a half adder. Okay, so this is a schematic that I drew up based on the logic diagram that we came to the conclusion that we were going to try and build down here. And you can see that we're using four vacuum tubes here, 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 and here. And each one of these is equivalent to one of the logic gates that we had drawn out in our logic diagram. And down here you can see I'm using two little push buttons as our input, and it actually splits and goes into two different directions. And the first direction is through these two diodes into an inverter, so this makes our first NOR gate. And the second direction is that it comes over here to this junction in between these 33,000 ohm resistors and these two diodes. And this goes into another uh, inverting amplifier where we also have our 220,000 ohm pull-up resistor here. And so this combination here is our NAND gate. Now, I forgot to draw that I'm using two 22,000 ohm resistors here, uh, but it'll actually work without those 22,000 ohm resistors if you're just using push buttons like I am here. If you're using an input from a previous inverting amplifier, you're going to need those 22,000 ohm resistors. Now coming out of our NAND gate, we come down here to just another inverter, and the output out of that inverter is now our AND. And if we look at our logic diagram, we can see that coming out of that inverter, or this combined AND gate here, we have our carry, and then that goes into the input of another NOR gate. Uh, and so you can see that that output comes over here and it goes through a little voltage divider and an LED. So this is our carry. And then you can see it also splits and goes through a diode here. Uh, and then our first NOR gate goes through another diode and those come down and combine into a fourth and final inverter. And this is our fourth and final NOR gate, which goes through another voltage divider and an LED for our sum. So there we go, it looks pretty wild, but it's not overly complicated, and I think we should be able to build this pretty easily on the breadboard. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the way and pull our breadboard out. So I've got my little breadboard here, and I've already put in these little jumpers here, and that's where I'm gonna put in a vacuum tube. So I'll, I'll just plug a vacuum tube in right like there, and then that allows me to put components on this side that jump over to the pins of my tube. Now the next thing I want to sort out is the heaters for each of the tubes, and that's going to be these two little pins that are empty in between these little jumpers here for all four of these. And, and normally I use a little buck converter to convert the 24 volts that we're using on the plate down to 6 volts so that I can power the heaters with that 6 volts. But since I'm using four equal tubes and they have a 6 volt heater requirement, I can actually run the heaters in series, which is uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start hooking that up now. And by running them in series, there's a 6 volt drop across each one. And so by having 4, 6 times 4 is 24. So we get our 24 volts with a 6 volt drop across 4 tubes. And so we can power all 4 tubes without needing that little buck converter. All right, so that's the heater circuit sorted. You can see that we come off of 24 volts into pin 3 of the first tube, and then we come out of that and go right on down the line in series, so that's pretty great. Now if we look back at our schematic, we can see that all four of these 6AU6 tubes are set up as inverting amplifiers, which means that they all share the same basic fundamental setup. And so we'll go, we'll go ahead and set that up right now, and that is that uh, pins 2 and pins 7 are connected together. That's going to be our suppressor grid and the cathode. And the cathode is connected to ground, so we'll go ahead and just run a jumper for that as well. 
And then on pins five and six, we have a 10,000 ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor. So pin five is going to be the plate. So that's where our 10,000 ohm resistor is going to go. And pin six is our screen grid. So that's where our 100 ohm resistor goes. And this is uh, the exact same for all four tubes. So we'll hook that up on all four tubes here. And then coming off of the control grid for each tube, we have a little 4.7 thousand ohm resistor. So I'll go ahead and uh, hook those up for all four tubes as well. All right, well, now that we've got the fundamentals taken care of, let's go ahead and hook our inputs up, which are gonna be two little push buttons, which I'm gonna put uh, right, right over here, right next to each other. And we have 24 volts going into each of those push buttons. So I'll, I'll just hook that up like this. And if you remember, the input from these push buttons goes to both a NOR gate and a NAND gate. So we're gonna make this first vacuum tube the NOR gate and the second one's gonna be our NAND gate. And so I need to take the output from these and move them over to here where I can use them as well. So I'm just gonna do that with these two little jumpers right here. So we'll go ahead and set up our first NOR gate here. And the 4.7 thousand ohm resistor hits two more resistors and that's a 22 thousand ohm and a 33 thousand ohm and the 33 thousand ohm goes to negative 12 volts so we'll run that one that's a pretty easy one to run just like that now my negative 12 volt rail is going to be on this uh, this additional power rail that's stuck on the bottom here and then we have a 22 thousand ohm resistor that comes right over there and that's going to be our input and that input actually comes from both of these little buttons through two little diodes so we'll just go ahead and grab two little diodes and uh, run them right like that so now whenever i push either button the signal will go through this uh, 22,000 ohm resistor into this junction right in the middle here and then it splits and goes through a 33,000 ohm to negative 12 volts or 4.7 thousand ohm into our control grid. And that is the first NOR gate pretty well set up. Now the output from this NOR gate actually ends up going all the way over to our last NOR gate as an input. So we have to run a pretty long wire for that. Uh, but I, I've, I've bent one up specifically for that. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put that one in. And then we'll uh, hook this one up here in a minute. So next we'll move over to our NAND gate here. And let's, let's go ahead and get it hooked up. Now, because this is a NAND gate, coming off this 4.7 thousand ohm resistor, we have a 220 thousand ohm resistor pulling it to 24 volts. Uh, and so that's for uh, when the negative voltage has been blocked from our input, we have a uh, pull up resistor to pull the grid high and, and pull our output low on that one. And then also coming off of the edge of this 4.7 thousand ohm resistor, we have two diodes. And those two diodes are going to uh, line up with the inputs that we have coming from the other side over there. Now this edge of the diodes go in two directions. Uh, one direction is through a 22,000 ohm resistor up here to our inputs. So I'll go ahead and hook those 22,000 ohm resistors up. And then they also go to negative 12 volts through 33,000 ohm resistors. So we'll go ahead and run those uh, right across like that. And there we go, that's our NAND gate setup. And the output of our NAND gate goes into an inverter. And so we just need to get the output from here through a 22,000 ohm resistor into this 4.7 thousand ohm resistor here. And we'll just do that by adding in a little jumper here to uh, move our plate to a place where we can actually use it. Then we'll take a little 22,000 ohm resistor and we'll run that right over to that 4.7 thousand ohm resistor, like that. And coming off of this junction of the 4.7 thousand ohm and 22,000 ohm, we have a, a 33,000 ohm that takes us to negative 12 volts, just like a standard inverting amplifier. And there we go. So now we have a NAND gate going into an inverter. So this is our combined AND gate. And coming off of this inverter, out of our combined NAND inverter AND gate thing here, uh, we go into two different directions. Uh, one of those is into an input for our final NOR gate here, and the other one is through an LED because that is our carry bit. So we'll just use a little jumper to move the plate to a place where we can uh, make better use of it. And then you can see this little orange jumper and our yellow wire over here are our two inputs into our final NOR gate. And so both of these need to go through diodes and then through a 22,000 ohm resistor before they make it to this 4.7 thousand ohm resistor. And so we'll go ahead and put those little diodes in. 
All right, and then we have a 22,000 ohm resistor that connects the 4.7 thousand ohm resistor to the output from those two diodes. So we'll go ahead and put that one in like so. And then coming off of that 4.7 thousand ohm resistor, we have a 33,000 ohm that takes it to negative 12 volts. So we'll just do that one there. All right, and this little orange wire that comes up, remember we said it also went to an LED. So we're going to use a 22,000 ohm, 10,000 ohm uh, voltage divider to bring the level down to a level that doesn't exploderize our uh, LED there. All right, now that is our carry out digit. All right, and so the only thing that we're missing now is our, our sum, which is coming out of this final NOR gate. So we'll use a little jumper to, again, move the plate to a place where we can use it. And then again, it's just a 22,000 ohm, 10,000 ohm voltage divider to make sure that we don't blow up our LED. So we'll just do a 22,000 ohm resistor there, a, a little LED there, and a 10,000 ohm resistor as the voltage divider. All right, the only thing that we're missing now are the four vacuum tubes and 24 volts and negative 12 volts. So we'll go ahead and just plug those four vacuum tubes in. And it's a little bit of a fiddly job because there's seven pins that you gotta get lined up just right. Our vacuum tubes in, let's go ahead and plug in 24 volts and 12 volts. There's our ground and there's a plus 24 volts there and then negative 12 volts there. And well, that, that should be uh, everything. So let's, uh, let's flip the switch and hope that we don't let any magic smoke out. Okay, both LEDs came on, but as the tubes warm up, both LEDs should go off. So let's see if that happens here. Well, that's good that both LEDs went off, which means that our tubes are warming up uniformly here. And uh, that means that our series connection for our heaters worked. And it means that everything seems to be hooked up pretty well. Uh, now, if we look at our truth table um, from our notes earlier, uh, if we push just one button, either button, we should get the uh, sum illuminating, which is going to be this LED here. And then if we push both buttons, we should get the carry illuminating, which should be this LED here. So let's, let's push one button and see what happens here. Yes, yes. All right, let's push the other button. Yes, okay. All right, whew, that's good. All right, let's push both buttons. Now, if I push both buttons, this LED should come on. Yes, all right. I can't believe that I managed to hook it all up correctly. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. All right. So zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. That is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That worked. Ah, oh, man, that's just, that's super cool. Oh, so there you go. That's a, uh, that is a four, six AU six pentode vacuum tube half adder running at just 24 volts with uh, negative 12 volts as our grid bias. And it works remarkably well. I am ecstatic with how well this thing is working and how compact we were able to make it. Uh, so really the only direction to go from here is to make a full ladder, uh, but we'll, we'll save that for the next episode. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep uh, reveling in the greatness of building a half adder here. So uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all in the next episode.